Hello guys, hello everyone, I am happy to see you. That's the animation I recreated, so you can see the Mike's animation and my own animation, I just recreated it. And today we will make a breakdown how to remake this animation and the project file I already left in my Discord, so you can download it, it's absolutely for free. So guys, let's dive into our animation. And guys, before to start this video, I just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by me and I made my own digital product, I made course, so you can buy it if you want, if you want to make and uh, learn faster, so I just will put my link uh, below, there you can see a lot of different breakdowns and I will uh, make much more different contents inside this uh, course, so you will be able to see much more in the near future and the price will be higher so now is the best time to buy it. and guys let's turn back to our animation so guys this is the part number two of recreating this animation uh, and if you haven't seen the first part highly recommend you to watch it because there are a lot of different interesting information you need to know especially if you are recreating it with me yeah? And by the way, in the first part, I said that uh, the project file I already uh, left in my Discord server. So just uh, just come to our community and download the project file. It's absolutely for free for you. So guys, don't forget to set the like to this video. Yeah, and we will begin. Uh, on the previous part, we uh, stopped the video on this opening shape layer. So guys, uh, from this point, we need to. Uh, we need to move these different uh, messages, yeah? I, I don't know, I think it's like a messages, yeah, that goes uh, inside. Let's open my composition, what I already created, and you can see here a lot of different messages. Before to creating them, guys, uh, create the mask and just using your pen tool, make it in this way. So you can see my points, yeah? Uh, select this area and this uh, one below and we will put inside and these pills. So this is just the white shape layer and once you create this one uh, white shape layer you just need to like uh, put inside the messages and for it we will use the track mat. If you cannot see the track mat you can find it um, by expanding the transfer control span. Okay. Uh, then guys just use the track mat on our mask and just use this icon uh, because we need to invert it. So now let's hide it and guys recreating these messages and different shape layers uh, I highly recommend you to use just the regular pen tool it's uh, really easy and nothing too hard so we are going to make it by moving them by position and guys to make them uh, as you can see i have really a lot of them so to make a lot of them uh, as well you just need to uh, use it like this once you recreated and uh, changed the position yeah so you moved it inside uh, just use the ctrl d uh, move it a bit in this way uh, we will adjust uh, the position one more time, rotation one more time and the uh, position here once again. So we are going to put it under yeah, somewhere here. Also guys you can see uh, I added this uh, motion blur. Uh, in original one he didn't use it but anyway I decided to make it and I think it looks uh, a bit better but it's up to you. Uh, so guys once you create it, you just need to Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and uh, just adjust uh, your shape layers by position. Uh, the next step, guys, we're going to adjust our shape layer over here. We need to make this, as you can see, different uh, hits. Yeah. So, guys, to make uh, these different uh, hits, yeah, uh, below our Gmail, uh, we just need to find our uh, bottom yeah I uh, made the composition we just need to precompose uh, our layers we need to precompose this uh, blue and green one with this uh, white uh, once you precompose uh, three layers uh, we just need to use the mesh warp effect on it so just find uh, mesh apply it to your uh, composition yeah and if you can see here i have uh, two mesh warps i will sh i will tell you a bit uh, later why i used uh, both of them so as you can see i have a lot of different keyframes so 
uh, what this effect does. Uh, we can use this keyframe, distortion mesh, but when you will apply it, you will have uh, only seven rows and seven columns, so that's uh, why we need to apply uh, adjust it, yeah. You can make it uh, in the same as me, so I decided to make it like 30, 30 and 10. Uh, why 10? Because if you set it to like, I don't know, or we will have this uh, not perfect uh, shape yeah. and guys what this effect does all we need just to set this keyframe distortion mesh and from the point we need we are going to adjust our points where we need so for example we can see our for example message or shape layer comes from top here yeah so we need to make it in this way uh, set the keyframe you will set it over here and then we will move it further and as you can see here, I have this point, yeah. So that's why it comes in this way. And then just uh, copy the previous keyframe and paste it over here. So it will come back. So that's uh, how we can make this uh, hits animation. I have a lot of different keyframes. So guys, as I said, I will uh, leave this project file in my uh, Discord server. So guys, just enter our community and uh, download it absolutely for free. So guys, uh, once you recreated uh, these pills, yeah, that goes inside, uh, we need to close our mail. Uh, just repeat uh, the same process you done before. So we need to find it here. We opened it in this way and we need to close it in the same way. So just copy this keyframe over here, Control C and here, I copy this one and paste it over here. So, and you will close your letter, yeah. Then guys, uh, just create this rectangle, make it in this way, uh, add some roundness for it, make it white and just set anchor point to the middle because when we will scale it up, uh, as you can see, it's not scaling from the center, yeah. So just uh, use Ctrl and uh, double click on this uh, pen behind anchor point tool. So set it over here and then guys, just use the scale for it. That's how you will appear it, yeah. But that's not all guys, as you can see, we have glow and uh, this glow like appearing and uh, disappearing, yeah, and how you can make it, as you can see, we have here adjustment layer, and if you open effect controls, I have here uh, two glows, yeah, so press U on keyboard, we can see a lot of different keyframes uh, of our glow, so uh, just to make you understand, I used the radius and glow intensity, so that's all I used, really easy to make, so for example we have here the keyframe uh, 0 and 0, move a bit further and we can see 183 yeah, and here 1.6 and here I already decreased it to the minimum. And guys, the second glow, I have the keyframes below here. So the point why I made the second glow, because we have uh, these key keyframes over here and I needed to like appear, I needed to fill this uh, space while it's not glowing here. Yeah? And I want to make it not so fast to end over here. So I could make it in this way, but it will um, disappear so fast. So that's why I decided to make it in this way and just create the glow number two and uh, make it the same as I made uh, here. So guys, uh, this is very easy and nothing too special. Uh, so let's close our adjustment layer and here you can see also my null object number one. So what's uh, doing our null object? Uh, guys, you just need to make the null object and we will use the rotation for our letter. But to make it, we just need to use all our like shape layers, yeah, what we can see here and connect to our null object. So as you can see here, we have this part, yeah, it's already connected to the null. This one, uh, this is already connected to the null as well. And another part of this composition uh, is connected to the null without uh, these uh, messages, yeah. So these shape layers uh, that's uh, line from the top. Once you created um, the null guys uh, and connected your uh, shape layers and compositions to it, just use the keyframe of our rotation to make it just press R on your keyboard and then uh, rotate it, for example, from minus 10 to plus 10, yeah. 
that's how I made this and uh, when uh, our uh, Gmail going to closing so we just want to uh, set it to zero also guys we can see here that we have uh, like the background glow yeah over here i decided to make it so for it you just need to remake the shape layer rectangle so just create uh, the rectangle for it one more time i need to find it over here i just will show you how it works so it's over here white rectangle here we have scaling here yeah? so look at this scaling guys it's just a little bit just a little bit scaling here uh, and uh, this detail uh, make this animation a bit better so clearly recommend you to use different uh, small details in your animation and uh, then they'll be much more better with it and just guys i used the glow for it so i used the glow for it you can see here the properties and nothing special uh, we can see here i i use it in only this area and then i removed it yeah guys i guess that's all yeah let's see this animation once again and maybe i forgot something to show you even if i something forgot to show you one more time i want to remind you that you can download this project file in my discord server and watch this animation over here also you can open these uh, shape layers and project files by yourself oh but guys also uh, we have this mirror on the bottom yeah so guys to make it uh, to make this mirror all we need just to precompose uh, everything we have here so once you precomposed everything you just need to duplicate it ctrl d and uh, after that once you duplicate it uh, use the opacity to zero and here we will uh, make it increase it to 24 i decided to make it like that eh? um, and guys don't forget to transform it and flip it uh, vertical so once you flipped it vertical uh, you just need to press this cube, uh, make the X rotation to minus 88 as I did it here, yeah, and uh, adjust it where you need. So I decided to make it somewhere here. Mm. Also, guys, I applied the blur for it, so I used the fastbox blur, and that's all. Uh, that's how this animation looks uh, pretty cool, yeah, and with these uh, different details because for example if i even turn off this animation on the bottom uh, this animation will be uh, like good but uh, with this one on bottom it looks much more better uh, that's why uh, these different small details is really necessary for your animations highly recommend you to use them guys uh, the same here for example yeah you can see like this uh, shining small uh, glow yeah over here so guys, uh, that's all. Don't forget uh, that you can um, purchase my course. Yeah, uh, inside uh, uh, you can see different content, and I will uh, add here a lot of more. So now it costs not too much, but uh, in the future I guess the price will be higher because I will uh, add here a lot of different information, a lot of different animation, a lot of projects files and. Uh, etc 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 yeah so guys thank you so much for watching uh see you soon have a good day and goodbye